In this video, we'll take a look at loading the electrical discipline tools and registering a design file. So I'm in Ecosim Building Designer in the previous videos. I created a new work set, created a new file. So I'm in this eDisciplineMaster.dgn file. So when we open Ecosim Building Designer, the electrical interface does not load automatically because it uses a database to store information about the items that are placed in the model, we need to load the electrical interface. So this database is driven by what's called the BBES, or Bentley Building Electrical Systems Database Server. So this is a companion program that will run in the background when we're using the electrical tools in Ecosim Building Designer. So the name of that program is the BBES database server, but don't think of it as like that you need a separate server to access. It's just a basically a program that writes database files into the folder that gets created. And so it's a service that runs as that companion application in the background. Since this is the first time we registered a file in this work set, it will automatically create a folder named underbar BBES that will be in the same folder as the DGN files. And it will also prompt me to uh, do the design file setup, which we'll look at in the next video. So here in Ecosim Building Designer, we have our tabs in the ribbon interface, and I'm on the electrical tab. Now I've got my common tools group up here, but notice I have this load electrical tool. So to load electrical, we simply click the load electrical tool. Now you'll notice that now it's showing me to register the design file. If we take a look in the Windows taskbar, we'll notice that there is an additional Ecosim Building Designer Tasks now, that is the Bentley Building Electrical Systems database server, again, which is a companion program that just runs in the background. So if I click on it in my Windows taskbar, this is what it looks like. You can see up at the top, it says BBES database server. So you don't really ever do anything with this interface right here, just to show you that there is the companion program running in the background. So I'll just minimize that back down into my Windows task. So since now that we've loaded electrical, we need to register this file. So this register file operation will need to be done on every file that you'll work on with the electrical tools. So as we create our new files for our project, we'll register them. And it's a one-time thing. Once we register it, it's registered with the database. So I'll click on that register file. We see we get this register current design file, it shows me the path, and it's telling me here the project database will be created since this is the first file in this project that we've registered. So I'll click OK here, and then we'll see that I get this drawing set up. I think of it as the design file setup. The title of the, the dialog box here is drawing setup. Now, you can always come back to this. You can adjust it later. One thing to notice here is in the electrical discipline, we have all these modal dialog boxes. When we say a modal dialog box, that means I can't do anything else out here in Ecosim Building Designer. So you notice as I have my cursor just out in the Building Designer interface, it's showing me that Windows progress wheel that goes around there. But if I move over into the dialog box, then I see I can uh, do my operations here. And you'll notice in the Windows taskbar next to the electrical database icon down there is another tab down there. And if I hover over it, we can see where it shows me there's the database server. Here's a dialog box that you have open that's going to write to that database server. Now, if you 
cancel out of this, let's say you registered the file and you went cancel, well, you can always get back to that design file setup or drawing setup dialog box by going up to the file tab. And we saw this in the previous video. Go to the file tab. That brings us to the backstage. And if we come to settings in this list of tools over on the left, and you'll see the different categories of settings. So I'll choose building here. And then you'll see that we have electrical setup. So some tools for file setup, seeing which files we have registered in the database. We've got some electrical work set settings, cable installation types, cable management, and to reset the electrical dialogs. So here's some settings utilities in this Windows Backstage. And if I choose the first one here that says file setup, design file setup, you'll see that it just takes me right back to that drawing setup dialog box. And we see in the ribbon interface, since we loaded electrical, registered the design file, I now see the tools for modeling my electrical components for my project. So you see we have the symbols group, raceways group, labels group, circuits group, space management group, and symbol manager group with the various tools in there for the electrical discipline. So we loaded electrical, we registered the design file. The next video will cover setting up the drawing or the design file setup. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.